just got pulled over. Oh man, dude, like I feel so bad. That shirt, I see that shirt, bud. That thing is sweet. Where'd you get that? Day. What do you got there, bud? Huh? Back to the future car. Logan drew us a picture. Well, two pictures we put on our fridge. He drew us a DeLorean. What do you think of Logan's artwork? I think it's pretty good. First thing we need to do, wash the car. Well, we're cutting the car wash, and we've got my helper right here. You ready to wash the car? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. driving it. I did not dry off the car and we're gonna head back to the campground because Logan is over there doing his virtual school so by the time we get back he should be done with his school. He was a little upset that he couldn't go with us to wash the car but I told him that I'll let him help me wipe it down so by the time we get back the car should be ready to wipe down so I did not dry it completely down off so he could help me wipe it down. Let's have fun Liam. That's how you wash your car for four dollars. The first two dollars you spray it down completely, soap it all down once it's completely soaked, then you put another $2 in it, and then you spray it off. And that's how you wash your car and not be rushed, and it only cost you $4 less. He came up with that, so I gotta give him credit for that one. There's Mama. Did he nap? No. Did you wash He's the car? Tired. That thing is sweet. She's all cleaned up, ready to go. Look how clean Sean's truck looks. Thanks to me. You did, it was me. Today is Sean's birthday, so everybody in the comment section, give him birthday wishes. parking lot has emptied out I know the town that thing looks like mine let me see it does what's going on here how come everybody has that same car as you look at that I love that color too I like this too we're over here just talking crap about your car <laughs> Dude, it looks good. So you got it cleaned up. I got my mine's a lot cleaner than yesterday. Yeah, I had to do yeah. that too. There's a Mustang meet going on over at Fenwick Island State Park. So we're gonna head over there. Meet up with those guys. We're actually a little bit late for it. I just found out about it that it was actually happening now. It's the same one that we went to last year and did the cruise back over to Dead Freddy's. We're gonna go over there and meet up, but then afterwards, 
Laura and I, we're gonna go find a bite to eat, but we're not gonna eat over at Dead Freddy's. We're gonna probably go somewhere else and grab a bite. all the action dude this thing looks so good going down the road we're gonna swap wheels before we get out of here right yeah, <laughs> they say it's good luck though man look at all that yeah okay smaller pulley jlt did you just put the uh, carbon yeah. lip on there yep. i had one on mine it didn't last very long After the Mustang meet, I met up with John, took some awesome pictures of our car. Then we ended up back over here. So tonight we're, we're not gonna actually hit up a restaurant. We're gonna grill out some burgers. Then since today is Sean's birthday, I got a little birthday surprise for him. What is going on here? And we've got jalapeno poppers stuffed with cream cheese wrapped in bacon. Call me Chef Joyride. And it's ready to flip when the burger juices start coming to the top. Uh, uh, you see the sparkler ones? Uh, they keep one lighting? They keep good. lighting! <laughs> I've never seen that. Oh my god, they're lighting again! <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm having flashbacks. So what do you think of your cake, Sean? Is it Oreo? Yeah. It's Oreo. Awesome. <laughs> Oh yeah, dude, that looks so good. Oh, and then we've got our Ben and Jerry's. Now that right there is a dessert plate. This is what third day? What are we? What are we doing? I bet you guys would have never guessed. Laura's just being mean to me today. Does anybody else's wife do this to them? While you're driving, if there's a random chick on the side of the road jogging or whatever, she's like, "I saw you checking her out, I'm trying to check to see if she's okay." Maybe she needed Ocean City lowered their speed limit to 30 mile an hour just for cruise week. If you're going over 30, they're gonna get you. We're going 40. Larry, that thing actually looks pretty sweet. All these drinks for just us. <laughs> Look at that. Finally so nice to see this thing in person. It's a little dirty. Yeah, I'll plug your Instagram here. I've been messaging them on Instagram ever since I got my C10. I think I found yours. Yeah on Instagram and I've just fell in love with this thing. This thing is beautiful. Yeah, because I was asking you about the fuel tank too. Look at that. Oh my gosh, dude. It's it's finally so nice to see this thing in person. It's so, uh, it's fun. It's definitely, I mean, I drove it three and a half hours here, so. Did you? Yep. And you kept the uh, inline six. Inline six, 250 with a 66 millimeter. <laughs> too wow. big for it, but fun. A lot of people have told me to keep my inline six too, yeah. so. But. And there's the Jack Daniels bottle. I was gonna do the Starbucks. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yep. Man. I had a couple laying around. I love it. What do you think, Logan? <laughs> Is it cool? <laughs> Is this the original color of your? Uh, the interior, yeah. Interior. Okay, because I think mine's originally like a goldish color too. Yeah. The original is gold. Um, it was either orange or green. I'm not sure. Like the actual body one. I think it was orange. So clean too. Yeah, it's definitely not bad. It's, it's, 
You saw the kit that I put, right? Yeah, it's simple yeah. and it's just it's just paddle valves. I'm just I'm afraid of tearing the bed up. At least I gotta raise the whole bed to do it or cut out just the center section where the um, rear is gonna hit. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I'll make the bump stops now. Oh, I it's only lowering spring. That looks just like ours. Same wheels, just different stripe setup. That one's more red though than orange. Okay, a cop over there driving in the bike lane. Grand National. What's going on, dude? What's going on? I'm all right. GoPro. Yeah. Whole team in the clouds with me. We looking down on them. Yeah, me now. Pull the blunt of that loud shit. I barely smoke, but I'm out in the trunk. Right on myself with real hustlers. Going no time for an hour. What's up, dude? I found another YouTuber. I thought I was the only one walking around here talking to myself. The plug it. Mooch Life, check me out. Hammerdown Motorsports. Eminem Motorsports. Hammerdown, buddy. Yeah, I do feel like we're the only ones around here in Ocean City walking around with a camera making YouTube videos. Pretty much. Yeah, I haven't I know, seen right? any I've not seen anybody else doing it. These are really cracking down on people. I've seen on Facebook, I didn't actually see it, them tow two rat rods because they were too low and didn't have, like, what was it, fenders or something? Yeah. Or yeah, the, the wheels were exposed. Yeah. There's some, yeah, so they had them impounded and it's like a thousand dollar fee. You gonna do a burnout for us? Yeah, oh yeah. You definitely. do it for the vlog? Yeah, I'll do a donut and everything right in the middle of the street the intersection. Do it on the bridge, like the dude from H2O. I actually wish that like, they would raise that bridge where a big like boat comes through and I could just like jump, jump it. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. I mean, I got BMR springs, like what could go wrong? <laughs> right? <laughs> It looks just like it. Dude, this thing's sweet. I love stuff like this. No drone shots for uh, tonight's video. My fingers are all completely chopped up. Not sure if you guys can see it or not, but literally took the drone up and it just started going that way towards the vehicles. And I immediately ran over, grabbed it. I was just basically like, I don't care what I got to do. I'm grabbing the drone from this mighty vehicle and chopped my fingers off. And the drone won. We're getting some cool rollers over here by Mooch Life. Check him out, that's his YouTube channel. He just got pulled over. Dude, that sucks. I feel so bad. They were getting my roller shots for me. Got pulled over. The cops out here are like, they're, dude, they're not giving anybody any break. Wow. I hope they don't try to take his car or anything like that. He wasn't doing anything crazy. They shouldn't. Hopefully, they just give him like a warning. What did he say? I mean, are you guys going to get a ticket? I don't know. They just took our information out of my back, yeah. Oh, 
Uh, did you tell him? Yeah. Oh man, dude. Like, I feel so bad, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just tell him that you were doing like a documentary for the History Channel or something. <laughs> Let me know what happens and hit me up. Let me know. I felt bad. I didn't want to like stop or pull over. Dude, the cops, be careful going back because literally there's cops at almost every intersection just sitting. There's cops oh, yeah. everywhere. And nobody's driving. It was just, it was just Mark filming, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, if anything, I mean, the only thing I could think of is like a seatbelt thing because he probably wasn't buckled. Right, right. You as the driver, really. I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work. But, dude, I mean, I feel like crap. Well, are you guys recording all of it? Oh, yeah. yeah oh, yeah. Right now. Yeah, definitely. There, hey, there's your video, dude. <laughs> yeah, guess we'll see. There's your video. Hopefully, they don't take the car or arrest you. But they shouldn't. I mean, you guys, you weren't doing anything bad. No, no, we're, we're, we're straight here, so. Yeah. We'll see what they, see what they say. Yeah, get back to the house, relax, dude. I'm heading back to my RV. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm not trying to get in trouble, dude, because these cops are not playing. Yeah, he just got a ticket for no seatbelt. No seatbelt? Yeah, that's what I thought. No seatbelt. All right, man. Hey, you guys have a good night. $83 for these rollers. <laughs> dude. Oh, he took off and went after someone else. Dude, that's wild. All right. I'll talk to you later. All right, well, bye. just a seatbelt ticket. I mean, that, I, I guess that's probably the best situation. I mean, it's a lot better than a lot of other people up here getting their vehicles towed, $1,000 impound fees. Well, if you would have probably had tires on it, they would have got him for something with the tires. Right. Or any. Yeah, any yeah. His car is pretty exhaust. stock. It's just wrapped and, yeah, and not much. Tape. Yeah. If it had exhaust, so, they would probably rack them for that. Right. We're going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.